Life on a boat is never without its challenges, and this year, external forces pushed us down under to Australia. With the world shutting down because of COVID, it was the perfect opportunity to give Sylphia a makeover with some exciting upgrades, such as lithium batteries and all new electronics, an eight kilowatt generator to help pump tanks and run our new water maker, designing and strengthening the exhaust bracket, and a little reminder of our past, putting up the beautiful wood carvings from the Solomon Islands. But finally, after many months of making improvements, the day has come. It's time for the real adventure to kick off again and dive into what we do best. We're ready to explore underwater again. Our adventures will take us to the outermost corners of one of nature's most impressive creations, the only living structure that can be seen from space, the Great Barrier Reef, where over 400 coral species and 5,000 marine creatures call home. Oh, and we've got some very excited, fresh new faces joining us. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylphia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface and see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Just taking a good look before leaving. We are leaving Kearns finally after a year traveling and since almost been in Sylvia for a year, like Kearns felt like a little home. So it's gonna be quite sad to leave the friends behind, to leave the city that it was our shelter for almost four months in these like crazy times. I'm so excited at the same time to leave. Finally, after four months, that's both sides, and I'm ready for the new adventure, new crew, new waters, new diving, and hopefully we do everything that we want to do. What are your thoughts about I'm so excited. I'm always very excited. As I was in Solomon Islands or Vanuatu, to live and to sail. I think it's going to be beautiful. This adventure is going to be special. We're going to find very... Uh, and a lot of uh, surprises and uh, yeah, it's gonna be intense and very interesting. We're setting sail and we have a brand new crew to introduce to you. So I'm Ronja, I'm from Germany, first German on the boat. It's Amy, I am originally from South Africa. Hi, my name is Ryan, I'm from Canada. My name is Jaime, I'm from Spain. Hello, my name is Flo, Florian from Belgium. Rania, a veterinarian from Germany. Some words that come to mind are intelligent, soft, calm, collective, and sincere. You can often find her sitting quietly in a corner, just taking in the beauty around her with a smirk on her face. Amy from South Africa. Don't let her size fool you. She's four foot ten, a pint-sized adrenaline and adventure. This little one has more travel miles under her belt than most 80-year-olds I know. Her charm and sassiness will keep you on your toes. I'm pretty sure she thinks she's the new captain, so I've nicknamed her Admiral Amy. Ryan from Canada has worked as an engineer for years in the oil industry and has decided it's time for a new chapter in his life and seek out what makes him happy. He's smart, gives great compliments, and is a pleasure to talk to if you need to pick me up. Jaime, the macho man from Madrid. He's a dive instructor who has joined us to break away from the mundane guided dives to plunging into some self-planned sketchy drift dives with us. He's a coffee snob, likes his spices, competitive, and his Spanish fire is intoxicating to our soul. Flo from Belgium. At first seems quiet and reserved, but then you soon find out he's a complex, energetic, charismatic soul. I learn from every crew member that joins, but I can say that learning to simply go with the flow with him has been a real breath of fresh air for me. There is no small talk with Flo. Every combo seems to be some sort of breakthrough discovery about yourself. When I started this project, I thought that scuba diving was going to be the thing that I loved most about it. I thought that by traveling the world and learning about new cultures would fill my cup, which it does. But now a year and a half into it, I realized that actually, my favorite part about this project isn't the adventures. It's actually the people. The relationships I build along the way have become the thing that I cherish the most. I am blessed to have the opportunity to have cultures from around the world join me in my home, learning that we aren't so different, but we all want the same, to be loved, accepted, and happy. All right, so we're heading to the outer reef. So we're coming out of Cairns and heading out to the outer reef. And there's no good time. It's just it's blowing snot this week, like 20, 25 knots. So we're probably going to get to these uh, reefs out there and 
and um, just kind of hang tight, get a mooring ball, but it, and hopefully not too much wave action comes over the reefs, or it's going to be pretty rough. But you know, it's just not a good time. So we're here, and as we're going to be heading north, uh, or especially next week, you'll see the wind just starts to build and build and build. So this is with a uh, predict wind. That's how we um, do our route planning, and it's pretty accurate. But um, yeah, what we're hoping for is a couple like uh, not so windy days in there, but it's not looking so good, honestly. So it's good for wind, we'll be moving fast, but once we get there, I typically like to get to an area and take the wind, get to the reef, and then hopefully it dies off so we can do some diving um, a couple days after that. And it's actually doing the exact opposite of that this time. And it's just building and building and building. So I uh, hope everybody took their seasick pills because uh, we've got a lot of new crew on the boat. And I think it's going to be, we got some bets. we got some bets as to who's going to be puking first. <laughs> it might be me. Because Cannes treated us really well. I'm not going to lie, we had a party in the Run Jungle. We had you know, all sorts of goodbye parties. Drank some champagne. And I had this team meeting yesterday, and the first thing I said was, people are going to try to get you drunk. Don't let it happen. Drink all the water. Like, don't do it. Well, that went right out the window. So I think we're all a little bit rough today, and uh, that means that we had a good time. So farewell, cans. We'll see you next time. So we were on the outside of Great Barrier Reef, and it was just rough. So we actually, um, we turned and we kind of like snuck back in to the uh, inside, through a little gap of the Great Barrier Reef, and now it's much calmer. The swells, you know, we're, we're protected. That reef creates that barrier, if you will, <laughs> and uh, really like, uh, protects us from that swell. Still breaking in our sea legs? You know what, it probably felt so rough because we've been just land lovers for a minute. So, um, it could have been that too. So we're gonna be um, arriving at Steve's Pommy, which is ribbon reef number three. Um, so it's our first stop on the ribbons, which is pretty exciting. It's a nice easy dive to get started with. Yeah, a nice pinnacle dive. So. Even if we didn't get to sleep, anything yeah. was nice. It was so <laughs> I think rolling. it'll be like half people diving, half people sleeping, six hours. So. Yeah, perfect. Right. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Let's go, let's go! Woo! Bye! Maybe was your way for me. I've been trying to catch up. I love you. Wait, what you say to me? Like a feather could break us. I'm sorry.
We've been through fire before and survived, so can we make it out again? I ain't no liar, you know I'm a fighter. Please don't say goodbye again. You're my best. Tanks pumping. Cats out here teaching students. That's like the perfect Ooh. amount of. What are we learning? We're learning the refreshing of the dive because it's been 14 years since I've dived. Nice. So nice. Get it back in the water. Nice. Doing the things, getting it done, pumping tanks. I love these kind of days where we can dive right off of Sofia and we're on a disgustingly good dive site. Uh, this is Steve's Bombing. And just out here, you can see some reef way out there, but then there's this pinnacle that just comes out of nowhere. Amazing, amazing diving. What are you up to? I'm going to teach an advanced open water course, doing a night dive with Amy and Flo. What? Oh my Hello. God. Are you scared? Yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> but you're also excited, right? Not as much as I'm scared. Well, you excited? Excited. Yeah. Yes. Night diving felt like the opposite of what humans should be doing. Plunging down into the dark unknowns in an environment that we're only guests in, breathing from a limited source of air. All of this felt like madness to me. But as soon as we descended, almost instantly, all the spectacular life started popping up around me and I forgot to be fearful. Instead, I was mesmerized. It was a side of the reef I'd never encountered, new creatures I didn't know existed, corals waking up to feed, all the colors more vibrant than in the day. I knew immediately that I was hooked, and I can't wait to discover more of the secrets that the mysterious darkness holds. Oh mama, baby, tell me why you like me. Next week on Expedition Drenched, we introduce you to Andy Lewis, co-founder of Coral Sea Foundation, to learn about the importance of protecting our marine reserves. And things don't stay smooth for long when our mooring mysteriously snaps. Lord, Lord, Lord. But since we're on a move anyway, it's the perfect time for a drift dive. Lord, 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 Lord. We've been trying so hard to find another place for the bookshelf, even if we love it, but it's not its place. Yeah. And it happened, like little wave, and boom, all the books went down. <laughs> Why little wave? 
<laughs> Why do you guys hate books? <laughs> little, little Nazis want to burn books. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Put that in your vlog. Uh, well, um, um, what um, do you? Um, 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 um. Apparently, the new guy has to call the ropes around here. So, um, absolute bull.